All right, everybody, we're back with part four for Guardian of Light here, so what is up? Um, but we are now on Fiery Depth, which is Fiery Depths. <laughs> I kind of tripped over my words there, but this is level 10. So we have, again, 10 red skulls. Reach the exit in five minutes or less, which we're not doing that right now. Heal the rolling ball again. Sacrifice three skeletons to the scorpion crest and jump to all six spider tile platforms. And then we also have seven pickups in the environment, so probably a decently length level. Though I did go back and complete the previous challenges for speedrunning and stuff like that on the levels that we had already beaten. So now we have the mask, which this is from level nine, uh, the speedrun challenge specifically. But yeah, you get health regen, ammo regen, and power shot when you max out your power meter, which is a great combination um, and then I unlock some more drums so we get plus weapon twice on them and then plus speed and bomb um, I think we unlock the double barrel which we never used but I don't really need to use it it has a lot of power I'm not really sure if we need the grenade launcher anymore we can just equip the submachine gun for now but yeah once you get the double barrel it's kind of not needed anymore at the level it's in um, we can also unlock the Spear of Fire for reaching the high score, but this is when things start to get a little tough, so the enemies are pretty ruthless. They also get some benefits, uh, and then we also have a Red Skull, like, kind of right away in the beginning here, but it's tricky to get to. Molten Lava. You ancient gods certainly have a flair for the dramatic. Time is running short. The mirror grows stronger as dawn approaches. Then let's keep moving. You are a brave woman. Strange, but brave. I cannot ask you to go further. The path ahead is certain death. I do not wish to see you harmed. I can handle myself. The only thing you need to worry about is keeping up. You follow Zolo down this path, and I will try to get ahead of him. Do what you can to slow his progress. I like that because they don't have mouth movement, they try to like hide it with just camera angles. Kind of smart. Oh, actually, we might be okay with our spear here. There's that. Forgot about the ammo upgrade as well. Yeah, here's our skull. Didn't look like it was going to make it. Challenge tomb is also here as well. But let's try to get rid of the enemies first. Alright, so in order to open this thing, we got to do this. Oh, we gotta find the ball first. Alright, shit. I think the one that's right here is the one we need to grab. Let's wait till the flames make it around. Hopefully that doesn't fall out. Pretty straightforward. Another relic. I think the flames were going faster and then they slowed down again after picking the relic up. Alright, let's see what this mask does. It's probably not going to be better than the one we have. Uh, I mean, it's power speed plus health and ammo regen. 
All right, that's that. All right, here's our challenge for the six spider platforms. Let's give it a second here. There's a health upgrade as well. Damn it. Almost made it. Alright, well, at least I don't have to try it again. Whoa, these are moving. I have no idea what happened right there. I kind of glitched out and fell. Oh, we don't have to worry about ammo anymore now. Use our next two skulls. And a chain gun, which is basically a mini gun. Which is probably going to replace our submachine gun. That sounds absolutely nuts. That's a bad time to show up. It's so hard to tell how she's jumping on these. Yep, these are the enemies that become a pain in the ass. That wasn't so bad. No gems inside of these. A lot of ammo pickups. There's crystals right here. Uh, maybe I should just have it over here. Seems safer. Oh, that was an accident. Yeah, this level gets pretty intense. Now we can get our next skull. And ammo upgrade, possibly. go. Okay, this is where we're going to have to heal the rolling ball.
Alright, maybe we will need the grenade launcher. But all right, let's see if we can get over there now. We're gonna have to use uh, some bombs to move this thing. So we gotta make sure we don't knock it off. Grab our next red skull. Okay, I was gonna say, I don't know why we don't have the challenge. I'm an idiot. All I had to do was be a little bit more patient. We have another challenge tomb over here. This one's pretty straightforward, I believe. Wait, before we do this... It's actually one thing we should do first. Let's get a bomb planted right there. God damn it. It's like right there. Now I gotta resituate this thing. Try this again. There we go. Another war drum. Um. Our basic war drum was just plus weapon, plus bomb. Is that the same thing? Yeah, okay. Oh, wait, we have like a few of these. <laughs> so, oh, some of them are plus speed because they're wind drum. Got it. Can I actually... I might have to set it the other direction to get back. We have a health upgrade and another red skull coming up pretty soon, though. Whoa, I am gonna get stuck here. I was supposed to go this way next. That was close. Yeah, there's our red skull, but before we go for that, let's get our health upgrade right away. It's funny that you can keep upgrading your health, but then these levels you die in one hit by the environment traps. So the health upgrades don't mean much. Alright, off of that. This is where we can do our next challenge as well. Where we have to sacrifice the skills and dudes. I blew myself up with a grenade, god damn it. We should be able to still hit the high score though.
Alright, that challenge is done. That's an easy one. Actually, did we already hit the score? Oh, we already hit it. We hit it a while ago. It was only 130,000. Alright, I think our last few red skulls are coming up here. We might have to die to be able to get one of the other ones. Yep, we got both of them. I think normally you would have to start on this side in order to actually get that skull without dying. Because otherwise it starts kind of rotating back on you. So it's actually kind of smart to die in order to get them. Because that ensures that you at least get both of them. And then our final red skull is actually going to be in this area. Which we got to be kind of careful here. Ow. Alright, let's get out of this fiery hellscape. It's actually not that long of a level. The only thing we didn't do was obviously the speedrun thing, but we got all map pickups. You have to die a few times in that level to get going. We did unlock the Spear of Fire. We're going to have to check out what exactly that does. Well, let's just head into the next level now. Belly of the Beast. Is this another... There's one pickup. So this is probably another boss level. Step on all 11 spider tiles. Oh, we have to fight another T-Rex. Then there's obviously 10 more red skulls. But let's see what we got as a relic. Oh, wow. Plus bomb, speed, health regen, and ammo regen. This has more benefits than the one we currently have, but it I, power shot is so good. Let's just get rid of the exclamation point really quick, though. That was the wrong one. I was using this. Wind drum. We unlocked something else. We unlocked another war drum. Let's get rid of that exclamation point. But all right. See what's ahead of us here. Get a rocket launcher right away. We're actually gonna need this. So that's definitely gonna replace the uh thing right now. I wonder if I should do chain gun instead of sniper. So wait, when we have fire spear, does that take a oh it does take up a slot, okay. Well this might not be the level we look at it then. I thought it was a. Uh, I wasn't sure if it was going to replace our previous spear. Um, alright, let's, uh, I guess trigger the fight first. And then, we should probably just focus on the spider flap. Oh, we can't do the spider. No, we can. Let's just do these first so we don't have to worry about them. These are pretty straightforward. We're probably going to have to use them multiple times anyways. I'm just getting the challenge done. Before we delve into the boss fight. Alright, now let's get the first six red skulls here. Is this even moving it? No, I think it's still stuck. Here's that one. Might have to circle back around for the other one, because the T-Rex is kind of blocking me. Uh, 
Um, is there actually one over here or is it on the other side? I think it's on the other side. We can grab the one in this corner though. While we wait for the T-Rex. Alright, here's this one. Alright, now I think there's another one in this corner down here. For the other ones, we have to wait until we're further along in the boss fight. Forgot to give him like a brief invincibility window. Shit, that was very close. <laughs> Floor fell right out from under my feet. They do start throwing normal enemies at us. So at least we can hit our power up. I don't want them up here though. In case they drop uh, gems for us. So yeah, at a certain point though, some enemies show up on our spider totems and they have the remaining red skulls. We just gotta keep hurting this guy. Oh, come on. That was ridiculous. I was like being followed by that. No. What's our what's our challenge score in this? 70,000. Damn, that's a high score. Oh, come on. Sometimes they're just blowing up before they even reach me. And then these don't help cuz they bounce around onto you. Let's see if our spider totem guys show up. Yeah, here they are. Get our last red skulls. We're not even getting any uh, power points for killing these guys. There's that. We only need 10,000 points. We're gonna, if we don't make it, we're gonna be very close. Oh no, we did make it, just barely. Jesus, they just chased me. <laughs> go, it's dead. Another shorter level though, it's kind of easy to hit the 70,000 though. The speed run might be kind of tough though. You'd have to really just go at it right from the start. But the only pickup is the rocket launcher. All right, we're in the next level. I actually didn't catch the name. Um, but all right, what do we have to do in here? 
reach that's the speed run rest the ball atop the skull pedestal again with that though this time it doesn't have to be like in a hole in one type situation with a bomb so we unless it's floating above lava that would really suck and then step on three hidden spider spider tiles some more spider tiles we get a rail gun for the max score though the hell is that thing gonna be like Oh great, we gotta align more of these. These are the this was uh the last time we had to align the balls into the holes. That was a that was a tough one to speed run. How far can he throw? Alright. Yeah, those those are annoying, the rolling fireballs that they can spawn. see a health upgrade to our left. Can't get it yet, though. Um, actually, wait, let me... Let me get my sniper back here. Which one were we using? Fast action rifle. It wasn't that. Oh, here we go. Um, I don't know if we really need this anymore, either. We actually got an even better grenade launcher. Another one of these. We have an ammo upgrade in this room as well. Grab this. Alright, let's go see if we can find the other one. We can get that health upgrade now, too. I think if you're in co op, you actually have to help Toe Tech get these with Lara's Grapple. It's cool that they account for single player, though. Yeah, see, this would be like the time-wasting thing. You struggle to do these. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. I'm gonna need to be able to get up there. <laughs> that did not make it out. Where did it even go? Um, how am I gonna get it out of that? Yeah, this one's messed up. I remember this. We can jump on it. I wonder if actually... Hang on, let me see if I can fix this. See, this would suck with the speed run, because you'd have to do it perfectly. Ooh, that's not what I wanted. There we go, drop that right on top of it. There, we salvaged it. Luckily, we couldn't get hurt. On top of the boulder. Hopefully, it doesn't hit me. Let's get this down here. Alright, now we had a challenge tomb back here. 
think we have a red, our first red skull coming up as well. And our first hidden spider platforms right here. There we go. Um. There we go. Let's say this one doesn't seem as complicated as they're making it look. What do the serpent things do? Oh, this is three benefits instead of two. Alright, which one do we have speed on? Let's trade this one for the serpent then. Get out of here. So yeah, this is going to be very similar to the other level with the ball aligning stuff. Where we can't really get most of the red skulls until the final chamber. So we'll only, I think, get three of them. We already threw our ball down there. Of course, this is the timing. Uh, can I even... Hopefully she doesn't stab herself. There we go. That's a sketchy one. I think we have a weapon coming up soon, though. Dual SMGs. I don't know if we really have much use for that. Oh, we're not going to be able to do that yet. That was an accident. Let me get this ball out of here so we don't mess it up. Alright, let's head up here first, though. Oh, I remember this. This was actually kind of annoying. Well, first things first, let's just grab the health upgrade. Okay, that was weird. Not sure why she decided to do that. We also have our second uh, spider platform. right here. Alright, now this is really tricky. Kind of have to get it to roll. There we go. Let's get this down there. Now, if you want to get these to stop, I think you actually have to blow them up. Whoa, what the hell was that? The ball wasn't even in the explosion radius. Hang on, let me let me reset so we don't lose our points. Alright, maybe that'll be good. Oh, this is gonna be really tough then if I can't see the actual explosion radius of the bombs. There we go. I'm just gonna try to get these out of commission right now. We're just going to have to put them away in the corner. That's good enough. Alright, we don't have to worry about those anymore. There's that red skull. This looks like fun. Here's that pedestal. We need to get the ball over here first, though. Here's our third red skull. This is gonna be tricky. There we 
go. There's actually enemies attacking me. Alright, let's see if we can get this over there. We do have that ammo upgrade as well. Let's get our ammo upgrade first. And head back here. Wait, can I jump across? No, I can't. We're gonna have to go back this way. Alright, now we gotta try to get this thing on top of the skull pedestal. Which is always fun. Because I can't really tell if I'm if I've got it straight on or not. Almost. God damn it. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Kinda had to wait up there for it and catch it on its way through. Yeah, that one's tricky. Those always take me a bit to do. What, is she just purposely shooting past him every time? He's missing by like a centimeter. Alright, I think all of his rocks blew up. All right, now we should be able to just place this. Yeah, this level is very tricky. I'm almost positive the bridge also just stays down, so we don't really have to worry about it. down there. Yeah, the ammo regen with power shot is very nice. Oh, great. We gotta deal with this shit. Actually, it technically is gonna... It's gonna keep bouncing over us, so we're, we're safe. in there. Yeah, I can't wait to see the rail gun. I'm pretty sure it's just like a more powerful sniper rifle. Why were they just standing there waiting for me? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, this is gonna suck. Yeah, damn it. How am I gonna get these over there? Alright, that one's in. Maybe it'd be easier to just do it on this side. Nope, they are on this side as well. This is kind of messed up. Especially, oh, this part's really going to suck for the speed run. That was a bad bomb placement. Alright, there we 
go they're in. Hopefully that doesn't roll out. Are these extra jars? I don't recall seeing them. There's the rail gun. Okay, this one's invincible. Yeah, she kept choosing to shoot the little dinosaur things instead. Alright, let's see here. Yeah, this thing's gonna be pretty awesome. Alright, now we just gotta place all- oh, one of them actually landed right in place. Side. I think our second challenge tomb is right away here. Oh, okay, there's a bit of delay on this. Alright, that one's not so hard. Mask of Tezcatlipoca, whatever the hell. I haven't really been looking at the words to pronounce them because it's like, I, they're so long. Power shot, power, bomb, and scatter shot. Not a bad combination, but having the ammo regen with power shot is, is too good to pass up. But right now, this is where our last skulls are going to be, and then all the way at the end of the level is where the last spider platform is as well. So we're going to have to go and pick them all up. We don't have to worry about our score anymore, so we're good on that front. Oh, come on, I fell right through the floor. <laughs> there we go, we got it that time. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I, like, fell right through it. Oh, shit, shit. All right, let's try this again. There we go. I thought I picked the skull up and I tried to back pack, like, backpedal really quick, but I fell. There we go, here's the final platform thing. And this is the end of the level. Yeah, that was an intense level. We got everything besides the speedrun, though. They do give you 15 minutes on that one. I could see that being pretty doable. 15 minutes is a pretty decent amount of time. Like, if we just tried to skip the enemy fights as much as possible, we, that took us 20 minutes with getting all pickups. So this one actually gives you a little bit more leniency than the other one. The other one, I think I had like 30 or 40 seconds left to spare with the ball rolling chamber. Alright, the mirror's wake. This is probably where we're going to end part four, though. I think there's only two or three levels left, but I think the last one's just another boss fight level, so it might be a shorter part. Um, there are extra DLC missions in this game, but they're just literally basically challenge tombs, so we might not cover those. There's no collectibles or anything or story narrative in them. There's literally just challenge tombs. I think Temple of Osiris' DLCs might go a little bit more in depth. We, I might cover them as bonus parts if, um, if we do have some time. Like once I get all my videos scheduled and laid out, if we do have some extra days in there, we might do some. Bo I might do some bonus parts for that. Uh, it's gonna depend because next week. Of, as of recording this, Dead Rising 1 Deluxe Remaster comes out, and I'm definitely going to kick off a Dead Rising series run and do some stuff with that game, so I'm really trying to get these done in time. 
Um, I'm looking at the things here. Break two shields with one truck. I don't even know what that really means. I'll probably remember it when I see it. Ah, uh, jeez, no, another achieve a hole in one. We might not get that on the first attempt. But yeah, like I said, this is the end of part four. Game's just always fun. And it just keeps getting more fun. The more challenging stuff they throw at you, it, it some of it can be annoying, but it has a good balance between it, I would say. Especially since all they have all the crazy weapons in this game. Like, the weapons are insane. Um, but yeah, uh, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for anyone who checks this out when it goes live. I always appreciate it, and I'll see you in part five.